So I think it's time that we officially added a brand new product to the unnecessary Gator collection of products. For a very quick history on the collection, in 2019, I gave you guys the infamous Gator Grip gloves. They absolutely took the internet by storm, and they also did damage on my legal department. But that is the oldest news at this point. I mean, look, I even wear around the studio now. And yes, I do wear them with socks because <laughs> it's cold here in Vermont. But then in 2020, you guys begged me to add the Gator Visor into the collection. And so I did, and it came out beautiful. But then absolutely everything changed last week, and let me tell you. I started getting bombarded by people tagging me in this one tweet, and I knew what I had to do. The tweet in question was from Mike the Bats, and it featured one of the most beautiful, gorgeous drawings that I'd ever seen in my entire life. And I knew that that had to be the next product in the Gator collection. So today, we are making Gator underwear, so let's get into it. And today we aren't going to be using any of the 3D printers in my entire collection. Actually, that's a lie, we're gonna use that one. But the majority of this project is gonna be made with this Warbler's finest art. Let me tell you exactly how it works. So this product here is a thermoplastic material and it is used heavily within the cosplay community when they're creating their costumes. And essentially what that means is when you heat this plastic up, you can move it around and form it into any shape you want. And then when it cools down, it stays exactly in that shape. So I knew this would be the perfect material for the most cursed underwear ever to exist. But the first thing I was gonna need is a pattern for the Gator underwear. So I whipped out my computer and I fired up Adobe Illustrator. I made what I thought would be a good pattern that would work well with the Warbler. I printed out all those pages and started cutting out each individual piece. Then I just grabbed some nice clear tape off the wall. That way I'm able to tape all of the individual pieces together until we finally have the finished pattern. With the final product coming out to look a little bit something like this. Let me show you exactly what I made here. So this first piece here is going to be the back and butt section of the Gator underwear. I erred on things being a little bit bigger than we might need for two reasons. One, we can always cut off the excess if it ends up being a little bit too big. And the second reason is, I'm working with a dump truck back there. She had dumps like cha, cha, cha. And then this is the second front piece of the pattern that we're gonna cut out of the Warbler. We're gonna be able to bend and mold all of the different pieces so that they fit, hopefully, decently around my body because <laughs> I haven't quite decided yet if I feel comfortable enough to model this product on this channel and my Instagram. So give me a like on this video if you want to see me wear the Gator <laughs> underwear. So now that I had the pattern finalized, I could get it cut out from the war blood. So I simply undid the roll, set up some weights, and laid down the pattern. I cut them out to size and then traced around each of the pieces. I figured out it was a lot easier to cut when it was warm, so I grabbed my heat gun, warmed up the edges, and then carefully cut around the line that I had made. So that way I could start molding it into the position I wanted for the underwear. We have the pattern cut out, but I completely forgot that I did not introduce the brand new intern in the unnecessary studio who is gonna help us form the Gator underwear. And he's right over there. Meet the newest addition to the unnecessary team, he actually is even wearing the Gator visor right now. He's also got my Farmer Be Gone invention on, the grocery cart hoodie. He's also wearing the one butt jeans. But the one thing is I do not have a name for him yet. So leave a comment down below on what his name should be. I've put it out a few places, but none of the names have quite stuck yet. But let's undress him a bit so we can start forming the underwear around his body. I've got a feeling that this is when the video is gonna start to get weird. Let's say we don't need this. Who knew my life would be undressing a mannequin? As far as I'm concerned, that's America's ass. Let's see what one of the patterns looks like on here. You know, I think the sizing, I mean, it's a little granny panty like, but I think we'll have enough material to work with. So as I showed you earlier, all you have to do is take a heat gun and this stuff starts to get nice and soft and then we'll be able to put it onto the butt and slowly mold it so that it has a nice round rotundus figure to it. And looks better with a little bit more structure. Sorry, I got caught looking at his butt. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, I bet that was a little bit more detail than you were anticipating. I really had to get up into every nook and cranny of this guy. But overall, it is looking pretty good so far. So let's take a look at what we're working with. We've got a pretty decently round and sculpted butt here, and I think that should work out pretty well. And then I just have to clean this up a little bit once it's actually off of the mannequin. And we'll be adding in a few little details around the edges that'll also hopefully clean everything up. And one thing I didn't mention earlier is that underneath these flaps here, I think I'm gonna add some Velcro. So that's how you're gonna take it on and off when you wanna live your full gator underwear fantasy. So while I was getting up in his business, remember I told you that I was using one of my 3D printers today? Well, I had that going. <laughs> And here are all those pieces off the 3D printer now. So just like on my Gator Grip gloves, I wanted to add a little bit of texture to a few different parts around the underwear. And hopefully all of those little details still come out when we sandwich it in between the different layers of Warbla. The time has come for me to officially try this on, and I am nervous. Okay, let's see. How am I going to get... All right, I think I can... Oh, I'm gonna get demonetized for this one. <laughs> All right, that... Oh, it's actually staying on a lot better than I thought it would. If I have to go through stepping out of this bathroom wearing this thing, all of you better subscribe right now. I present to you the Gator Briefs in all of their super fashionable. <laughs> I think the high socks and crocs are really the look for this thing. These things are truly absurd. I do also have the strap, of course, that goes onto here. I don't think anything is showing, so I shouldn't be demonetized. The most important question is how does my butt look? So I went ahead and set up one of my photo studio backdrops and I'm gonna get some official photos of the Gator underwear. And then we can review the footage and see how these things came out. So who knew it was so easy to Photoshop a pair of abs on yourself? My summer body is coming, I'm just not quite there yet. And if I'm gonna have a photo of me wearing that thing on the internet, you know I'm gonna have a ripped six pack. Cue the footage. So as you can see, the product photos for the Gator underwear came out pretty decent. The one other thing I did need to Photoshop is all of the holes here aren't actually holes. So I Photoshopped in different skin tones from myself so that it would look like it was going through to underneath the Gator underwear. Then I just got a few other product photos from the side, <whistles> looking good. And of course, the backside. That is America's ass. But let us give a round of applause because I think the Gator underwear is a straight 10 out of 10. Well, except the underwear is probably as straight as me. Thank you to Mike the Bats for drawing that photo and giving me my inspiration for the Gator underwear. If you haven't already, which I do not know why you haven't, give me a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to the channel, I make new inventions every single week. And with that, I'm gonna go put these on and have a fabulous Friday night. See you guys at the next invention.